Okay. Thank you all for coming. Um, I seem to be the odd man out here that I actually am not originally from Drake. I'm from Somerville, which, you know, if you don't know, it's right next to Boston. And rather than talk about issues, because I left flyers out, and if you didn't get one, I think I we still have some more left. And if you're interested, in, I have more information on my website, vote com. So I just figured I'd talk a little bit about why I got into politics. You know, here I am at the age of 50 all of a sudden, you know, running, which this is actually my second race I ran last time, the state rep. But in some of all, you know, they say there's three pastimes, politics, sports, and revenge. So, you know, I always grew up in a political environment and, you know, like just about every Irish kid who grew up in and around Boston in the early 60s, in my bedroom I had, and I still have my little picture of John F. Kennedy. So, you know, I've always been interested in politics, but never actually run. The reason I wanted to run is, in Massachusetts, there's very few Republican candidates. Matter of fact, I moved to Drake in 2002. The first election I was here, there was actually a candidate running against Colleen. And that, after that, there were no candidates. So I'd go in and vote, and it'd be, you know, I might have a choice for governor or for president, but I wouldn't have a choice for state rep or state senator, things like that. So figure the main thing Kathy alluded to it is to give the voters a choice. And, you know, my philosophy, I'm a very small government person. You know, matter of fact, the quote Kennedy has from his inaugural, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. I think we've gotten too far away from that. Now, people just automatically look to the government to do things for them. And I don't think that's good. But there's also a, an opposite quote that goes with this, kind of ties in. And it's, you know, for the people to the government, leave us alone. Let us do things. Because if you want the government to do things for you, to give you money, there's usually strings attached to it. And you know, you start to see that now in healthcare. Well, you know, if the government's so involved in healthcare, then we really have to stop regulating the food people eat. You know, you can't have fatty foods and vending machines. You have to talk, you know, have a talk, uh, excuse me, a tax on things like soda, you know, candy, things like that. So I think the government needs to get away from that. You know, it's important for the government to do things. I mean, when I was a kid in Somerville, for a while I lived in a housing project. So there are things the government needs to do. I just think the federal and the state government has just gotten too far away from the basic things they should be doing. And it's like, you know, in your own life, when you start trying to do too many things, you start cutting corners on time and money, so you're not doing what you should be doing effectively because you're just trying to do too much. So I think the government should focus on basic things and really do them well. Now, I don't know how many of you are actually already registered to vote, but I'm still collecting uh, my nomination pay, uh, signatures. So if you're registered as an unenrolled and a Republican and you can help me out by signing my nomination papers, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.